This is Harlan coming to you from the Memorabilia Network. This past weekend, there was a major theft um, at the Dallas Card Show. The dealers um, that had their stuff taken um, lost almost $2 million in merchandise, all vintage. Really, really, really kind people. I met them on numerous occasions, and I feel absolutely horrible for them. Um, one of the things that um, first came to my mind was that when I ran card shows in the 1980s and early 90s, uh, Mr. Mint, Alan Rosen, would come to shows um, boasting he was bringing $100,000 in cash and, and vintage cards. And being a promoter on the West Coast and Alan uh, being an East Coast dealer, I always tried to get him to attend my shows. And one of the major requirements that he had, which was a big expense for me, but I felt it was necessary, was that he wanted armed guards and private security at any show that he attended that I promoted. And that requirement um, at the time maybe seemed a little arrogant, um, but was also at a time in our industry where many coin dealers were coming into the uh, hobby and bringing tremendous amounts of cash and inventory to the shows. And there were a series of heists, um, dealers being followed back to their cars, um, being held up, merchandise being stolen. And so now as our industry slash hobby is a almost $40 billion industry, um, the, the, the numbers are, are quite more significant and the stakes are much higher. And, um, I believe that, that unfortunately this, this horrible incident this weekend will probably change the industry forever and force promoters um, to, to have security plans, more security, plain clothes, armed guards, and probably will cost um, the dealers uh, more money but, um, for their tables, but well, well, um, probably well spent money. Uh, this is Harlan J. Warner for the Memorabilia Network, and I'm hoping by the time you see me next time that the cards have been located and found and back to their rightful owners.